Hi, it's Peter here. On my photo walk today, I will have a, another assignment or exercise for myself. This is a good way of uh, keeping your mind, you know, open and, and be alert. And, and we need to practice photography every day if we want to be good at it. And even though I photograph quite a bit, I still like to do these type of exercises and challenge myself because challenging yourself will make you progress and be better. And this time I'm gonna make a sequence of images so that there is a reference in the next image from the previous image. And here's an example of what I mean. I have this photograph of this green bike that I took a couple of weeks ago. If I was doing the exercise on that time, the next image could be either this or this. And here is the reference of the green color. And I picked green because the color of the bike is so dominant. But of course I could have gone and making an image of a bike that could also work. But you know what I mean by this. And the good thing about this is that you can have really strict rules or you can really have loose rules what the element will be next. And the thing from the previous image to the next image can be anything. It can be shape, color, subject or idea, just to mention a few. In this example, the third image could be a metal structure in a city that is similar to the structure on the bench. And you should also try this sometimes. Like I said right in the beginning that this will challenge your mind and it will slow you down also. And it will boost your creativity. And above all, it's a lot of fun because then you have kind of like a purpose to photograph. And this thing is a practice, but it might lead into something that you will want to keep which we call keepers. And for the examples that I picked were, of course, for my archives, and it's a lot easier to do. But it's also a good practice. If, if this uh, practice seems to be a bit hard for you, then just go to your archives and search images that are really nice combined together. So there is something in common in the images, so that there is an ongoing thing in the set of images. I used Exire Search, which is a really, really good AI-based search engine inside Lightroom. And it's a plugin that you can use so that you can find your images. And I use that. And if you're interested in the Xire search, watch that video after you watch this one. And I did this just on this photo walk, but this could also be a long-term project for you. So just, you know, take a few images on your daily walks or, you know, your daily commute or whatever, and then pick up the next day, next week from where you left off. And that is something so that you will have an assignment for every day for you or every time you go out and photograph you can you can pick up from the stuff that you left off and i think that's that's something to consider if it is hard for you to find what to photograph but enough of this talk about this assignment let's go outside and see what i got i started from this location and i saw this uh, container white container with some text and colors and then there was this uh, steel structure on top of it, this, uh, I don't know what this is, the steel ball or, or cage or whatever you call that. And the blue sky in the background. And I think this was made a quite good image. And this is also something that I can go towards many directions. I can go for the color, like blue, yellow, and go for the metal structure. And I think that's a nice and good start for this. And remember that the next image needs to have something in common with this image. And it can be anything you can find inside the frame. And after this image, I saw this. There was this yellow car. Okay, yellow cars are not that common. So I picked that because of the yellow color in the previous one and the white building behind it. So it has some kind of a same feel to it. And these two images made a good start. Bright and colorful images. A bit different than I usually do, and that's also something really interesting that I that I liked about these two first images, and they go quite well together. Then I started walking and I saw this and thought that, okay, this could be something also because of the similar bright colors. Of course, the background is a bit different, but uh, for this whole thing, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. There are some common things, and those are the colors. And of course, it's metal. There is some same texture or same shape as there is in the first image with the container. And I think that's that's something that we have to remember, that it can be shape, material, colors, and whatever you, you feel that connects it to the previous image. And if it connects to the previous images, that's not a bad idea either. And then I started walking towards this 
steel bridge that goes over the street here and I was going towards that then and then I saw this reflection on the way and I took this image but I'm not to be honest really sure if this fits on this set but let it be there for now and let's see it at the end and how what it looks like as the whole whole thing but I like the reflection and the blue from the blue sky this is, has a bit different feeling and it doesn't matter even though it has a bit different feeling but it has some common things with the previous and also with the previous images and then I went to the bridge and took this I could have done differently make made a close-up of the bridge or something make a bit more closer or had people in it or something that could have also taken me to maybe another path with people in it but there wasn't too many people walking around so I decided that okay empty street goes fine but not really happy with this image but it fits to this set with the colors and the blue sky and the and the, the, the whole feel and then I had the shadow in the front because I wanted to have something that makes it more 3D, more depth to the image. This could be an element that I could go forward with the shadows. But then I saw this, a yellow ring, and I think that was uh, something interesting. I, To be honest, I don't really know what these are. Took an image of this white rock through this. So this is a yellow thing, and then the background is dark. And then I walked towards this and I realized that, hey, there's some yellow in the background, and I do have a black metal ring, and it's dark, and now the background has the yellow, so there's kind of like a contrast. And I actually like this pair of images. They kind of the the latter or the later the how do you say it? the latter image is kind of like a negative of the first one, kind of not really, but kind of. And I think that's a lot of fun. And, and you know that this is the best part. You you kind of find things and and do this type of thing is really really. Uh, good for your brain too. It it kind of like m makes your brain muscle. You need to work with it because you, you just have to think and what what's important in my previous image that I can bring to the next one. And when you walk around you're constantly looking at around things and the funny thing is and the great thing is that you don't know where you end up. And even though if the whole set of images is no good you might get one or two really good images that you can work on later and I mean like have them as the previous image and go from there if you want to go to a different direction and I think this is one of the most fun photo uh, kind of exercise or practice that you can do a pra with practice I mean the practice your photography and then the last from this set is this one it has the metal structure colors are a bit different background is bright this is an interesting image but I'm not really sure that it fits this particular set. But here is my first set that I picked. I might tweak this a bit because there are some images that doesn't fit. I, I might go towards the brighter images and pick these four images or maybe five, I'm not really sure, but these four and then I could continue from this image towards somewhere and that could make this whole thing more interesting. And we have to remember that, for example, this image. I like this image. This is something that I typically would photograph. But then I, when I started looking at it in the whole set, it doesn't fit because of, of the different mood, the different color tone. And even though there are the same colors, but the, the whole tone is a bit different on this image. And, and in my opinion, it doesn't fit. But I will keep all of these images, of course, for, for further use. They might fit in some other set of images that I'm making in the future. So I will always keep these in mind so I have a lot of images in my mind that I will you know continue next time when I'm doing this and this is something that I will do a bit more I'm not sure if I make videos every time but you know those images are, are or, or the way that I'm making these images is really interesting and really challenge your brain and makes you think and I think that's a good uh, way of practicing is this particular assignment and also this assignment is is not that strict because you can you can use your own imagination and make the rules while you go and I think that's also a big part of photography is to have the freedom but then you will have a kind of like a path that you follow and combining that is, is a lot of fun and you know this can be done with any camera anywhere anytime and it doesn't have to be so that you you just do it you know one time you go out and do it one set you can you know have one photograph every now and then and try to make the next one always you know to have something in common with the previous one and I think this 
yeah, well, I don't know, maybe I said it all about this and uh, here are some more videos about the thinking process that I did about these images of cars that were covered by snow in front of pretty uh, colorful buildings or houses or townhouses. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.